All right, may Shalom. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash. All right, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well in peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, now in, uh, in this video, all right, I just want to go over how, you know, the reason why us as a people, all right, the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, I just want to go over the reason why us Israelites are going through the hell that we're going through right now, all right? Now, uh, the reason why we're going through all this hell is because we transgressed, all right, the law of the Heavenly Father, all right, and we are now serving a um a prison sentence, all right, a uh, a punishment from the heavenly Father. Why? Because we broke His law, statutes, and commandments, all right, and went uh, went unto these uh, other idols, man. All right, went unto the idols of these other heathen nations. All right, and you know what are the hells that we're going through now? All right, um, in this current day, all right, serving out of captivity in America. Okay, uh, one of the curses being us being you know, in a strange land, all right, serving out of captivity under these uh these devils, man, all right, Esau, Edom, all right, the self-proclaimed white man, all right, we're serving a uh, we're serving a captivity sentence, man, all right, and just because we're not in a hardcore slavery anymore, doesn't mean we're not in slavery, all right, we're still in slavery, all right, because we still have to wake up every morning early when we don't want to, all right, go to these jobs when we don't want to and make this devil money. All right. And, uh, you know, also, you know, one of the hells is us being uh, having sicknesses. All right. Eating. Uh, and the reason why we have these sicknesses is because of the food that we eat here in the land of our captivity, man. All right. Which is the main captivity here is in America is in here in America. OK. You know, we're eating this uh, this uh, nasty food. All right. Which. You know, uh, sickens us. All right, that's why our people are high in uh, are number one on the list in diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease. You know, we even got uh, a curse been upon us of sickness. Uh, uh, another one is sickle cell. You know, um, you know we having to go to the our enemy for the wants of all things. You know, all these are just certain hells. All right, that have been put upon us. All right, from the Heavenly Father. It's not because we're going through this, you know, out of, uh, for no, we're not going through this for no reason. All right, us as a people, Israelites. No, we're going through this hell, all right, because why? Because we sinned against the Heavenly Father. All right, we broke His law, statutes, and commandments, man. Therefore, all right, the curses are poured out upon us, man. All right, we're just serving a punishment, man. All right, and soon this punishment is going to end. All right. So uh, let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. All right. And it says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not <clears throat> hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. So what this, the Lord is saying here is if you don't listen to my uh, laws, statutes, commandments, all right. You you uh disobey me, hey, I'm gonna put these curses upon you, man. I'm gonna punish you by putting these curses upon you. All right, simple as that. All right, now if you go all the way down uh, to 16, all the way down to 68, all right, it's listing all these curses. But I'm not gonna go through all the curses today in this lesson, you know. But um, I just wanted to get one curse out of here. All right, and this is one of the curses that have been put upon us as a people, man. All right. All right. For our rebelliousness against him, against the heavenly father, Yahweh, which that's his true name. All right. And his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. So this is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. All right. And this is talking. He's talking to the Israelites, man. All right. This isn't this isn't for all nations. This is the he's only talking to his people, Israel, man. All right, it says, for the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one from the one end 
of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. All right. So us as a people, we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth amongst all these heathen nations. All right. And we will be looking like the heathen nations. All right. I mean, we will be looking like the nations that we've been scattered to. All right. So that's no, you're not an Israelite based off of your, the, uh, the color of your skin. All right. And it says, um, once we're scattered to these places, you know, we're going to be serving these other gods. All right. These idols of these other heathen nations, man. All right. And what is the main God that our, uh, our people are the Israelites like to like to worship Jesus. All right. In these, these harlot houses, these Christian churches, man. All right. Here in America, man. And all across the world, you know, our people like to, uh, worship this, uh, false idol. All right. Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. That's an idol, man. All right. But this is, uh, this is a part of the curses, man, that we'd, all right, lose our identity. All right, be driven from our homeland. All right, and serve these other gods, man. Okay, this is a curse that's put upon us, man. You know, I just wanted to get uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4 just real quick to prove all right, that we've been discontinued from our heritage, man. Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. All right, that I had, that I gave thee. All right, what? What is our heritage? All right, the land of Israel. All right, and along and along comes with that is our customs, our language. All right, the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all that we lost all that. All right, and it says, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. Right, and that's what we're doing today, man. All right, the main captivity. Being here in America, where a majority of the Israelites are in captivity here, man. All right. And we're here serving a sentence, a cap, uh, a slavery sentence. OK, for our rebellion against the Heavenly Father, man. It says, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Why? Why is the Lord angry? Because we transgressed his laws. All right. So. um, Let's go. Let's go to um, Daniel. All right. Nine. And right, this is just going to further prove that my point that I made, you know, going to why, why we're going through the hell that we're going through, man. All right. So uh, let's get verse eight. And it says, O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faces. I mean, confusion of face to our kings, to our princes and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. All right. And what is confusion of face? All right, that's basically shamefacedness. <clears throat> shamefacedness. All right, we're put to shame. All right, in the land of our enemies, man. All right, we lost who we were, like I said before. All right, in captivity and slavery, we lost everything. All right, and it says to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against him. All right, we're put to shame, man, because we sinned against the Lord. Verse nine to our Lord, to the Lord, <clears throat> what's lucky to the Lord, our God, belong mercies and forgivenesses. Though we have rebelled against him. All right, and how is the Lord showing us mercy today, man? By giving us this truth, man. All right. We're now waking up to who we are. We're now waking up to the fact that we're Israelites. All right. We're now waking up to the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. All right. We're now realizing why we're in this condition is because we sin against him, man. And now you have a remnant that is repenting and coming unto the, the law, statutes, and commandments are in the obedience of Yahweh Bashmel Shai. Okay? The call Halloween like Yahweh Bashmel Shai for that, man. For now we now have a chance to be saved, man. Verse 10 Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. All right? Well, verse 11, here's the point. Yeah, all it will. I, the point was already made, but I want to give verse 11. It says, yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Right. So all Israel as a people have transgressed the law of the Lord. All right. And all of Israel is going to go into captivity. All right. And be put under these curses. 
All right, no Israelite is exempt from the curses of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. All right, the, the curses that have been put upon us, man, by the Lord. No, no Israelite is exempt, man. All right. It says, even by departing that they may not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. What curses? All right, the curse is written in Deuteronomy 28 and 15 all the way down to 68. Well, yeah, kind. All right, the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. All right, the main point is that we sin against him, man. Therefore, the curses are poured upon us, man. Okay, that's the reason why we're in this hellhole right now, man. That's the reason why we're in the condition we're in. That's what. That's why we're suffering right now. All right, but soon that suffering is going to come to an end, man. All right, so I'm going to get Micah 7 and verse 9. All right, and it says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. All right, and I know we know this is Micah speaking, you know, but um, this can go for all of Israel. All right, because like, as I said before, all of Israel have sinned against the Heavenly Father, man. And we all are bearing, are still bearing the indignation. We, we're still drinking of that cup of righteous anger from the Lord, man. Right, we're still bearing that indignation of the Lord, man. All right. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Right. We sin against the Lord. Therefore, we have to drink of that cup of the Lord's wrath, man. The Lord's punishment. All right. Which indignation is righteous anger. All right. And it says, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. Right. He's going to execute judgment all right, for us upon these heathen nations, man. Mainly Esau, Edom, man. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. And um, soon, all right, this, 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 the, the, the cup of indignation all right, of the Lord that we had to drink because of our transgression. All right, we know uh, it's going to come to a time all right, where we no longer have to drink from this cup all right, anymore. All right, the Lord is going to have mercy upon us, man, through his uh, uh, starting with the remnant, the elect. OK, so I want to get this last precept here and Lamentations. Four, OK. Four and twenty one. I'm going to wrap it up there. All right. And it says, uh, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that dwelleth in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. All right. And what is this? What is this cup? This is the cup of slavery, man. All right. The cup of judgment. All right. Of, of the Lord, man, that shall pass upon Edom and not just Edom. All right. It's even you all you other heathen nations, too, that have took part in our captivity, man. Just go to Psalms 83. It lists our all our enemies, man. All right, who have uh who have robbed us, man. All right, who have uh taken us into captivity. All right, who have uh taken advantage of us, man. All right. So not just Edom, all these other heathen nations are gonna drink of that cup of slavery, man. All right, in the kingdom of heaven, all right, which is the kingdom of Yahawashai. All right, which is going to be ruled by Israelites. The Israelites are going to have all right, uh, Esau, Edom, and all the other heathen nations in captivity, man. All right? Just as, as they put us in captivity, all right, we're going to put them in captivity. As is written in uh, Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. All right? And then the main person that put us in captivity is Esau, Edom, man, the so-called white man. And everybody knows that. All right, he put us... On those slave ships, slave cargo ships, all right, shipped us, all right, to the uh, to the America, to Americas, all right, and then we were sold on auction blocks, all right. He's gonna pay for that, all right. But uh, why did that happen to us? Oh, right, because we sinned against the Lord. The Lord did that to us, man. All right, He put the spirit on Esau, Edom, to put us in captivity because of a punishment. All right. Okay, so uh, land the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken. Right, you're going to be drunken off of the the, 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 the slavery, all right, and the wrath of the Lord, man. And thou shalt make thyself naked. 
Verse 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, Israel. All right, Zion is another, is another word of saying Israel, man. All right, so our, our, our iniquity, all right, the punishment of our iniquity is accomplished. All right. Matter of fact, let's read this in the NLT, verse 22. It says, O beautiful Jerusalem, your punishment will end. Right, so this hell that we're going through right now is going to eventually end, man. All right, we have to bear that indignation of the Lord just a little bit longer, man, until we get out of this uh, predicament, man. This uh, this hell, all right. It says you will soon return from exile, but Edom, your punishment is just beginning. Soon your many sins will be exposed, man. All right, so Esau, Edom, man, your punishment just beginning, man. All right, and you're gonna, your whole kingdom is gonna be completely destroyed. All right, and your 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 um these elites, you're gonna be put into chains and put in captivity, man. All right, and soon, eventually, all all you Edomites, the so uh so called white men, you're gonna be put, all right, in slavery, and you're gonna be put to death eventually after a thousand years. All right, and you other heathen nations, you're gonna be put in captivity, but after a thousand years, you're gonna be put in your lands. All right, and um, you're gonna be uh have to uh follow the laws, that's your commandments, man. All right, but um, that was that was pretty much it, man. All right, just going into how us as a people, all right, um. You know, we had to uh, go through this hell, all right? We were, we were put through this hell, all right, because of our rebellion against the Heavenly Father, man. But soon, this re uh, this punishment is going to end, all right, and it's going to turn over to our enemies, man, all right? The enemies that have, that have oppressed us, man, and put us through all types of hell, all right, and have worn out the saints, all right? But with that, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well in peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom.